It was one of my first, like, sort of proper jobs um, in hospitality. I worked at Hellenic Republic for about two years, between like 2012 and 2014. And um, yeah, I was a waitress there. There was a really good team to work in. While I was full time, I wasn't getting paid for my overtime. That was sort of strange and I was only 18, or oh, 19 then. I asked around like, just people in my life, like my parents and stuff, and they were a little bit confused, but everyone was sort of like, I don't know, maybe it's fine. I'm definitely a vocal person, and I think pretty much my whole family is. <laughs> There's actually is a fair bit of like political sort of drive from uh, both of my mum and my dad's side and even though I've been brought up pretty like left wing and probably um, it's hard to sort of diverge away from what your parents sort of believe I have been brought up to be critical about like everything that comes in front of me and um, I think with that and that really being pushed it, it like made me have a bit more confidence maybe than other people to actually like seriously question things and even if everybody else is sort of standing in line with some stuff I felt even if it's still uncomfortable for me which it is but I can still go out and just be like no I actually believe this. Prominent figures have never really bothered me like I'm not scared of those kind of people I can just see the mistakes that they're doing and I'm more than happy to tell them and everybody else that I um yeah that I don't agree with them Hospo Voice is the first hospitality union I joined I was one of the founding members of it so it's only been around for just over a year so I've done organisation of other people trying to help other people with their sort of issues, mainly around either underpayment or sexual harassment. There are two sort of things that we work in in hospitality. The media will call them for comments on things and they've, then they've gone, oh, well, you need to speak to all of us. So it's been a little bit, it comes from sort of both sides. The other side's just been me yelling about it on radio and TV. I felt pretty confident in what I was saying most of the time, but there's definitely... Um, pressure from and that I have had that feeling with loads of different journalists about what they wanted to talk about um, and that was from like ev ev like every single media outlet like it was just a little bit of a different spin it's been important for me to or like point out to people that it's not I'm not part of I'm not doing this stuff because I'm part of a union like I joined a union because I had all these really strong beliefs and experiences and it had already started happening and I was like, oh, this is why we need to all be connected and supporting each other. Chef George Calambaras for shortchanging restaurant staff almost staff $8 million. Just about how his company broke it's the law. It's exhausting, like, uh, trying to contact them and we've all gone at this two or three this times. This is systematic across the hospitality industry. George Columbaris has been caught. Paula Belfridge says she was shortchanged almost $4,000 in was her two years. was on a level one, um, even though I was training staff, I was running the It has been helpful to sort of realise that actually, even if it's really uncomfortable to step out and talk about something, and there can be loads of people that are sort of telling you that it's not. Sometimes that real gut feeling of like, no, I just completely don't agree with that. And running with that ends up actually being correct and giving like, and you actually can find other people along the way and give them a, a sort of voice with you. That's been like pretty incredible for me because there's definitely Loads of, um, everyone experiences times when they like bring up stuff and then just get like shut down and go like, I'm not really sure whether I should have been, but I'll just let it go because it's too uncomfortable. And this is an example of when I haven't done that. So that's sort of incredible.